That should end our vegetable shortage. <laughs> I ever tell you my old man's a farmer? Feels good to know I'm helping farm folk out. Growing up on the farm, I was always helping with the harvest, out there in the field. I'm serious when I say veggies are king, too. The more you eat, the healthier you get. I agree. A lot of nutrients vegetables offer can't be found anywhere else. Plus, I feel like vegetables are a way to take in the power of nature as a whole. Power of nature? Yeah. Plants grow by absorbing energy from the sun, the soil, even tiny microbes. Eating vegetables is like getting all that natural energy right from the source. <laughs> Never heard veggies told quite like that before. I tell you, boss, you got your head on right. You got my mark. <laughs> Thanks, Largo. That means a lot to me. Hey, boss. Let me tell you a stupid dream I have. My folks' old farm went under, and I want to start it up again as an organic veggie farm. Funny, huh? Big macho man goes from flinging bullets to being king of the carrot patch. I'm not laughing. If you're dedicated, I'm sure you'll grow some fine vegetables. Once you're all set up and harvesting, you'll have to let me sample what you've grown. Boss, you'd be welcome to eat all you wanted. But, you'd have to help with the harvest. And out on the farm, I'm squad leader. Be ready for the workout of your life. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm feeling good today. Veggies for all. Two months since the start of Operation Northern Cross. The Federation's elite forces, Squad E among them, were driving back the Empire one victory at a time. Yet, the further they cut into Imperial territory, the more tenuous the supply chain. And so, the Federation Army established a series of massive outposts along the front line. Among them, Lindbergh Base. Commanded by the 101st Division, this outpost would prove itself a vital logistics hub in the battles to come. Wow! This is our new base? It's incredible! Apparently these facilities can accommodate over 3,000 soldiers and 100 tanks. On top of that, they have enough food, fuel, and ammo to supply every squad on the front line. Impressive. More like a dream come true. If I didn't know better, I'd think we were still in Federation territory. I guess the brass can get stuff done, when they actually try. What's the deal, though? They got all these resources and we're still stuck with one busted-ass tank? Excuse me? Our squad takes excellent care of the hop. I have to admit, this really puts the scope of our mission into perspective. Hell yeah! With this much heat, the imps are gonna feel the burn. No, we've barely seen the tip of the iceberg. Even all this might not be enough. Oh, you think? No way to rain on our parade, Commander. Hey, who's that? They got some weird get-ups. Oh, those are Navy uniforms. That's a surprise. What are naval troops doing this far inland? Well, I salute them for swimming all the way here. <laughs> Whoa! -ho -ho! Check out the ass on that one! I'd swab her deck. Uh, hold up, Raz! I'm just gonna say hi. Break the ice, you know? He's hopeless. I just hope he doesn't get into trouble. Don't hold your breath. Yeah. Anyway, we still have some time before the meeting. I'm gonna go take a look around.
glad to see you're on time, Claude. Tour the base yet? Yeah. Compared to the old camps, this is heaven on Earth. Excellent. I expect you to put all this funding to good use. Sir, the commanders of squads A through I have assembled. Then let's get down to business. I know Squad E just arrived, but we already have marching orders. Our mission is to capture a small town northeast of here. According to reports, Rain is one of the enemy's most valued comm centers. Which is why it's being guarded by a tank platoon. That complicates things. Squad E is mostly infantry. Do we have the right equipment for urban and anti-tank warfare? Don't worry. This time you'll have fire support. Once you infiltrate the city, simply relay the tank's coordinates to the field artillery team. I see you already thought this through. We also received intel that the Empire is inflating their numbers with decoys. If we can discern the real tanks from the fake, Rain is as good as ours. Excellent work, Lieutenant. I'm glad I can depend on you. You flatter me, sir. <laughs> Impressed? Control info and you control the war. Join ops, huh? Coordinating with the fire support unit is gonna make or break this mission. <laughs> Try to minimize collateral damage. We plan on repurposing their gear for our own comm center. Minerva, you are to lure the enemy troops as far away from the city as possible. Consider it done. Squad E will then sneak in and gather intel for the field artillery team. Understood, sir. Yo, I hear we're moving out already. Shame. I just scored a hot date with a Navy babe. <laughs> you wish. You got shut down. Hard. Uh, you were watching? Raz, what you do in your spare time is up to you. But when you're on duty, you represent the army. <laughs> Who are you, my mom? <laughs> Feels like it sometimes. Anyway, you said we'd have fire support. Does that mean it's a joint operation? You guessed it. <sighs> hey, looks like you're still alive. I'm glad you're okay, too. They told me you'll be commanding my team. Oh, really? Well then, I look forward to... Spare me. I already requested a transfer. Uh, oh. But orders are orders. Until my transfer goes through, you're in charge. Not that I expect real leadership from a scaredy Claude. <sighs> what do you know, Riley? Come lately, you just got here. All bark and no bite, as always. You mind shutting up while the grown-ups talk? What the hell? It's been ten years, and that's how you greet an old friend? <sighs> Hi there, Riley. I know it's not my business, but Claude, uh, Lieutenant Wallace is a great commander. None of us would have made it this far without him. We trust him with our lives. And since we'll be working together, maybe you should, uh... I should trust him? I'm sure it's all sunshine and rainbows while you're winning, but when the chips are down, running away is probably all he could manage. Cut it out, Riley. <sighs> the Empire took your family from you, not Claude. He's grown up since then. Judge him for who he is now. Leave it be, Kai. But... It's all right. Words can't change the past. We'll just have to rebuild. Rebuild what? Our trust. Riley, I'm gonna show you how much I've changed. At least give me a chance to prove myself. Let's make one thing clear. Unless it's for the mission, I do not take orders from you. Riley... Give me a break. Ah, 
Still messing around with that book, huh? Raz. That your plan for after the war? Break into writing? Better buy me a drink with that sweet bestseller cash. It's nothing that exciting. Just keeping a little journal. We're on the front lines of a goddamn war, and you're writing gossip in a diary? I think it's good to keep a record of things, that's all. <laughs> Plus, it helps me organize my thoughts. And I guess it's a habit I picked up from, you know, him. You know, if you're that interested, we could buy a diary for you. Like hell. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess you wouldn't have much reason to. Well, what the hell's that supposed to mean? Well, like I'm some goddamn illiterate? No, no, just... Well, I'm not sure your thoughts are deep enough that there'd be any point in organizing them. Oh, you son of a... I don't have to take this from your nerd ass. Miles, is that how they usually act around each other? Don't worry, they're just messing around. I don't think there's any actual offense. Oh, but I guess I don't have to tell you that. You've known them much longer than I have. Must be nice, ending up in the same squad as some old best friends from your hometown. Best friends? What, Raz and Claude? Uh, yes? I mean, we played together when we were kids, but... Raz started running with the wrong crowd, and then... Uh, anyway, I don't know that I'd call them friends. More like a bully and his mark. I never would have figured they'd end up all buddy-buddy. Let alone Raz taking orders from Claude of all people. Oh... That actually explains a lot. Well, it lines up with other things I've heard. But they say the toughest bonds are the ones forged in fire, huh? things did change between them, it was to an incident back in training. What happened? Let's see. Gosh, I think it was about a year ago now. It was May of 1934. Finally, that damn drill sergeant is gone. I swear, if I see that bastard in the field, I'm gunning his ass down. Save that rage for the Empire, Raz. Kai! It's not just training anymore. From now on, we're going to be fighting real Imperials. <laughs> Maybe. But that guy's earned a place on my shit list for life. There was one button undone! I didn't expect him to deck me and send me on a 40k run! There was a lesson in that. On the battlefield, the slightest mistake could cost you your life. Yeah, but remember when he found my contraband? Oh, that beautiful pinup by your bunk? I understand confiscating it, but I wasn't expecting him to return it, uh, used. Ah, oh, did Zaga's wifey cheat on him with an officer? Talk about an honorable discharge. That bastard! Oh, Betty, my angel, what did he do to you? <laughs> Sorry, Zyga, but I guess love hurts. <laughs> guess you've earned the right to hold a little grudge. We'll just have to wait and see who's next on your... <laughs> I mean, who's gonna be our new commander. Who knows? If it's some stuck-up bastard, we'll just kick him out. Simple as that. Rats, we aren't just recruits anymore. Our superior gives the orders and we follow them. Sure, but Raz the Invincible doesn't play by the rules. Not even his own rules. Why should I listen to some old geezer from the last war? Or a smug prick who got in on their family name? Hey, I know. How about you become the squad leader, Kai? That would be ridiculous. I don't have any remarkable heritage, nor experience. I'm just a thug from the slums, same as you. Who would trust someone like me to lead them into battle? Oh, come on! You're smarter than any of us here. You're a crack shot. You got nerves of steel. Even the old sergeant never tried smacking you around. He never had an excuse. He respected you. No, I bet he was scared of you. 
Seriously, man, I can't think of anyone who'd make a better leader. Well, I heard our incoming commander graduated as valedictorian of his class at the military academy. Valedictorian? He must really be the best of the best. That's a real feat! Ah, oh, great. Some rich scumbag with a stick up his ass. Just what I need. Well, looks like he's here. Attention! Can't wait. I'd like to introduce you to the commander of Squad E. Meet your new leader, Second Lieutenant Claude Wallace. Claude? Wallace? Gotta be kidding. <laughs> Never imagined we'd run into each other out here. Uh, hello. It's uh, nice to see you again, Kai. Raz? Scaredy Claude? You're supposed to be our leader? Like hell, I'm ever taking orders from you. Soldier, you are speaking to your superior officer. <laughs> He's a goddamn coward, is what he is. And I'll say it as many times as I want. Raz, enough. Enough for you? I'm never gonna respect this son of a... Raz! That's it! You're dismissed from today's training! Get running! I want 100 kilometers! Sure, whatever you want! Sign me up, long as I don't have to listen to him! One hell of a first day on the job, right? I guess you've got your work cut out for you. I saw you was when we were paired up for tank training. Uh, I'm surprised you remember me. I wasn't even from the military academy. I was just your average driver fresh out of basic. And I heard you graduated as valedictorian, right? That's incredible. Only thanks to you, we wouldn't have aced the tank course without your help. Really, you're giving me too much credit. But I'll do my best not to break our streak. You want me to take orders from him? Calm down, Raz. We're in the army now. Rank is everything. You know that already. You want ranks? Sure, I'm sergeant and he's second lieutenant. But he's still a worse shot than me, and his CQC's a chip. I'm sure I told you. Claude graduated as valedictorian of his class in the military academy. He's not the same Claude we knew. Yeah? So tell me what's changed. Valedictorian? Don't give me that shit. Hey, Claude. Claude! Look me in the eye, you bastard. <sighs> you hear me? I didn't drag my ass through all that training just to have you be the one yanking on my chain. I'll fight the imps and put my life on the line to do it. But I am not letting Scaredy Claude get me killed. <laughs> Pathetic. If you can't even talk back, then you really are a coward. What's his problem? How can he talk to you like that? Aren't you gonna say anything? Put him in his place! You were peerless in the tank training, and you were a better shot than anyone on the artillery. Claude, I... No. Everyone who saw you in training looked up to you. There's no way anyone could call you a coward. I hope you don't hold it against him. Raz is more sensitive than he lets on, and he's not sure how to deal with this. Kai! Miles. Raz, Claude, and I, we all grew up together in the town of Hoffen. We were all pretty young when we first became friends too young to know about things like social standing. But the reality was that Raz and I were kids from the slums, and Claude was upper class. He didn't know our struggles. Kai! Miles, about how the world works. And the more Raz understood, the more it hurt him. <sighs> Claude, 
I'm sure on some level Raz is happy to see you again. But when he gets emotional, he just refuses to listen. You know how he is. I can try to convince him, but... It's fine, Kai. I understand. I don't think I can reach him through words alone. And I'm the commander of this squad now. This is... my problem. I'll try to think of a solution. Claude? Hmm. You're right. Probably for the best. Several days later, all the members of the squad were gathered for an important announcement. What? We're taking on the Ranger course? That's the most difficult training in the army, isn't it? Uh, excuse me? Is this Ranger course really that bad? Only a select few manage to become Rangers. It's a title for real heroes, the best of the best. If we clear the Ranger course, we get assigned to special missions. And we all get epaulets. But the regiment is... tough. I hear it's made soldiers desert. Well, the ones who didn't wind up in the infirmary. Right. I hear that training stretches you to your limits. Mentally and physically. What? Well, is it too late to back out of this? Sign me up! I've always been interested in the Ranger Corps. Hey, whatever pays the bills. I'll do it. I, uh... I'm not sure. The whole squad will be taking the course. We're all gonna pass it. Not a single failure. What the hell? Claude, you realize what you're saying? Yes. I don't make promises I can't keep. Ha! <laughs> Get real. Me and Kai are gonna pass no problem, but the others? I don't think so. No. We're all going to beat this. I've read your files. You've all got your quirks, sure. But I see it more like each of you has hidden potential. And I know you all enlisted for your own reasons. Good reasons. The reason I joined the military was to protect Galia from the Empire. It's my homeland, and I'll fight for it. And all of you stand here today because you have something you want to accomplish or protect. But right now, we're just a handful of soldiers among tens, hundreds of thousands. We're pawns on a board. I don't intend on staying a pawn. I want to bring the Empire down with my own hands, by my own will. If I want to do that, however, I need results. I need to earn trust. I need to stand on the front lines and change battles with my own decisions and tactics. And if we can make it into the elite ranks of the Rangers, I can make that a reality. What a load of bullshit. So, Claude, this is your solution? <sighs> I have to say, Raz, I'm surprised at your cowardice. What did you just say? True, the ratios of physical and mental capability in this squad may be a bit uneven. But that's something that could be covered between the two of us. Isn't that right? Uh. Or, do you think you can't complete the Ranger curriculum having to carry around the weight of our comrades? Of uh, course not! I'd finish this thing even if I have to carry the others on my back! And it's settled. <laughs> Sounds like you're all set, Second Lieutenant Wallace. Now, according to our deal, Time for your mock combat mission. Mock battle? They want to test the squad's abilities. They need to know if we're ready to take on the Ranger course. Ha! <laughs> Hope they're ready to see what Gallians are made of. Fine by me. But who's playing our enemy in this trial? The Ranger Corps elites. Well, that ought to be... Wait, what the hell? How are we supposed to beat them? The Ranger course is no playground. We're making quite an exception to let your whole squad attempt this. 
if your results can justify it. Looks like our first combat op will be a trial by fire. Well, Claude, time to do the impossible, right? Right. We're not going to lose this.